Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick, and in today's video, we are doing more work on the collections page in Shopify. Now, in a previous video, we added a product badge to the product page. It says best seller, something you see on a lot of stores. Now, uh, shout out to Iron Tail Designs who left a comment and asked if we could have this functionality carry over to the collections page and maybe show that badge over the product image. What a great idea. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that we can do this. Uh, one is using product meta fields. Product meta fields are gonna be nice because they're dynamic and we can make those badges say anything you want. Um, the other way I'm gonna show you how to do this is using product tags. It's maybe a little simpler, but it is hard coded. Uh, but the pro is that it will work compatibly with the other video that I did where we add this to the product page. So this might be a nice way to do it if you want consistency for the collections page and the product. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now, but make sure you like, subscribe. And if you have something you wanna see me make, uh, make a tutorial on, Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. And if you have a link to an example of something I can see what you're talking about, it makes my life a lot easier. So without further ado, let me show you what this is gonna look like. So let me show you what this product badge looks like, okay? Here is what we're gonna make, have it in a custom color and then I have it just in like a black color. And for reference, this is what the default Dawn theme comes with in terms of product badges. So I just wanted to show you, like, we're making a very similar button here, but we're just going to make it so that we can add any text that we want there, okay? So let me show you first where the Dawn settings are to enable these pre-made uh, badges. So if I come into the customizer and I come over here to theme settings, and then if I go here to badges, you can see that there is a couple options. So you can set the color here, the corner radius, blah, blah, blah. Um, but these really only work for two use cases. One is for if it's sold out, and then the other is if it's on sale. So that's a start, but uh, I like having more control over what these things say. So that is what we're gonna do here. So what I'm gonna do is navigate to a duplicate theme and make sure you grab this code down in the link in GitHub, so make sure you can copy and paste it, or you can follow, around, uh, follow along if you'd like. So what we're gonna do is gonna open up this file called card product, and it's a snippet. Now obviously this is for the Dawn theme, so if you're working in a different theme, that's totally fine, but you, you just need to find where these are being rendered for your collections. And usually there's collections pages, and then they're gonna render a snippet, which actually contains the uh, code of, uh, to show the images and the title and prices. So within this file, I'm gonna come in and look for a class that I recognized from earlier. On sale here, so this is around line 40. And then I'm going to come right below this end if, and then right below this closing div tag. And I'm gonna copy this code from my GitHub and I'm gonna paste it in here. All right, so I've added this code right here, and you'll notice I have these styles in line. I did that just because this is such a small element. I didn't want to actually add a separate style sheet or a style tag at the top. I figured this would be okay. So what I'm gonna do is save this, and there's no liquid checking here. So this is gonna show up on, or it should show up on every single product that we have. So if I open it up, yeah, you can see bestseller everywhere. So that's a start, but um, we don't want this to show up on every single product, right? So, so let's start with the first option in terms of showing this by using tags only. So what I'm gonna do is come right above it and I'm gonna start uh, with some liquid syntax here, okay? So I'm going to do a conditional here and I'm checking in this file, the product is called card product. So you can see that if you just look, how is it being used in this file, card product? Okay, cool, that's the name of the variable. And I'm gonna do if the tags contains bestseller. And then I'm gonna to come to the closing tag here and I'm gonna close that if. Okay, cool. So now if you save this and you come over here and refresh, you probably won't see any. I see one, but that's because I've already added that tag to this product. So let me show you how to do that really quick. Let's go to our admin. And then we're gonna to go to products. And then you're gonna click into any product you want. So I think it's this one I have it on. Yep. And then you're just going to click in here and add best seller like that. And you can add it just like that. Now, maybe you wanna add it to like a whole collection. And I always like to show this because it's been very handy for me. Is I come over here and I can filter by collection. And let's say I want to do this collection. Then you can select all more actions 
add tags and then you can add the tags like so so you can add it to like a bunch at once instead of you know one at a time so just so you're aware that is an option and now if you do that and then come back and save you should see a successful ad showing up right here so you can see the first method of using tags is working and if you navigate to the product page if you follow the previous video you will also have this tag showing up on the product page so that's great now the second way I'm going to show you how to do this is to use meta fields. So to use a meta field, we are going to go to our settings and then we're going to go to custom data products and you'll see I already created one called product badge, but what you're going to do is go here and then you're going to create a product badge and mine is erring because I've already created this, but this is how we're going to reference our meta field. I would select single line and I would do one value and then I would uh, click save. I like to enable these by default and then after you save that, you should be able to come back to our products and then you can click into any of these products that you'd like, scroll to the bottom and you should see in our meta fields right here, product badge. So I've created one. I just added made in the USA, but maybe let's just say for the heck of it, I'm going to go to another product, one that's uh, actually in stock. And I'm going to add, because I'm sure people would love to see that badge on their store. So I'm going to save that. And now we have these actually added to our products. So we need to go to the code and we're going to change some things slightly. So I'm going to change this. And remember, this is option two. So if this works for you, great. Otherwise, I'm going to do unless card product meta fields custom product badge i believe it is yep and then dot value and if that equals blank unless that empty uh, equals blank i am going to and then change this display the same thing although for this one i want to be funner and i'm going to add um, a cooler background so uh, I get a lot of questions from you guys on like how to move things around. So just to be clear, uh, if you want to change the background color, you're going to change this background here. Um, if you're if you wanted to move it, like say you wanted to move it to the other side, um, you can mess around with a few CSS styles, and those styles are going to be position. And you're going to change that to like absolute if you want, and then from there you can do top or bottom or left or right zero and you or in pixels and you can determine how much you want it to move over so for example if i did this i can do right zero and if i save and i actually made a mistake here two mistakes i need to remove the quotes and i need to put a semicolon mm, perfect okay now if i save this now you'll see it's over here on the right side and you can specify this however you want you could do like from the bottom, you want it to be up 20 pixels and it will move. So that is some extra customization for you if you so desire. All right. So now I don't want this to say best seller because how is that any better than the product tags? It's not right. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to actually output the value of that meta field. So again, you can copy from above or just type it out. Okay. So now. If I save this, just want to make sure, okay, it looks right. And I come back over here and boom, you see made in the USA and Nick's fave. So this shows in both places or, or in all the places rather that the collections are being rendered and you'll see um, successfully showing up here. Also, I would recommend if you're doing this, probably disable the badges that come standard on the DOM theme. Um, and and now you should have two ways of successfully implementing a product badge on the collections page. I hope this has been helpful. And make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Man, I love getting your guys' comments. Absolutely makes my day. So I hope I will see you next time. If you have anything you'd like to see in the meantime, let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.